You seem even more upset than usual, Elilia. What would the matter be this time? I don't think I could bear more losses after what happened to Galas. My plan was not to fight in enemy lands, but rather to infiltrate. This battle was not part of the plan. We were to part ways right before reaching this fort. Wait, you plan to enter the hive on your own without us? That's just stupid. You don't know for sure what lurks beneath besides the Shackstar creatures we've encountered so far. What if that woman or Mal Hecuba are waiting there? I was hoping you could provide me with a few of your best undead warriors, in fact. Lady, that's suicidal. From what we've heard, nobody could survive a confrontation with those horrors without support. Allow us to protect you until you reach the entrance to the caves at the very least. I refuse to send any undead down there unless you allow me to go with you. What's your motivation, Mali? What makes you want to accompany me now that neither Gallas nor Anlinde exist in this world? I have been tempted to ask you the same question for a while, actually. I know you cared about the boy much like you cared about Argan, and I have sensed your grief following his death. And yet, somehow you have been in denial about it, perhaps afraid to admit that losing him had a greater effect on yourself than losing Argan. I suppose it could just be a matter of time, seeing as how Argan disappeared from your life much longer ago. But even though you want to pretend none of this is the truth, your demeanor makes it all evident to us. Now, you seem to seek vengeance against Uriah's followers, especially Elissa. What's the point of wasting the gift of eternal life to pursue such an ephemeral goal, I ask? You have not answered my question. Probably because I don't need to. I don't have a motive to do anything anymore. My foolish mission to erase the orcish species from Erdia failed too long ago. Is it redemption that you seek? I don't know. That's what you asked when I first met you, remember? We aren't accomplishing anything. My lady, please reconsider. We'll secure the hive entrance together, but from that point onwards, it will be only Malkia Shah and I, and whoever wants to go with us, except for you two. Why would that be, my lady? We are going to need some capable soldiers alive to alert the Grand Council if neither we nor our messengers make it back. I want you to immediately head back to the far north, would we not return to the surface within one day? Very well then, I am unsure about what strategy, if any at all, you have in mind to defeat or destroy whatever you are going to face in that place, but your quest is noble. I wish you the best of luck to complete it. If I ever return to our island, I'll make sure your people hear of your bravery and your many sacrifices. I am sure you'll succeed in this last mission, my lady. Thank you. It really means a lot to me. Okay, so I lose my veteran Orcish Warlord, and I lose my veteran Marksman. But I get to keep Malkeshar, which is something at least. No matter how many times I set foot in this ravaged land, the sight remains as appalling as ever. Wesmere is cursed. No green life will ever thrive in it again, as long as the forces of Inferno thirst for revenge upon us. Now that we head back into these caves, I can't help but ponder Malkeshar's words. Am I in denial of my own thirst for revenge now? As my quest isn't as noble as I want to believe it is. We aren't that different after all. Return to Wesmere Part 2. Okay, you're watching Cyber Neuro Druid, and I'm playing what looks to be more of a classic scenario of the uh, let's have a small number of troops and uh, let's have them out here together to do some fighting. 
Okay, so you cannot end your first turn until you've recruited or recalled six units. You can recall, recruit or recall from your starting location. You will not be able to recruit or recall any units later until the end of the mission. Okay, so job first is to recruit. Um, so I've got to get a decent selection of units. Um, now I do want my Quinoth Druid because I will. I think a healer will be very, very handy, and this is the only option I've got. Um, we've got it's plus to chaotic units again, and Alinea doesn't do what she used to do, which is to emit light, which means that she's, uh, which means that. A forest spirit is a less appealing option. Nevertheless, I do still think that I want one. So it's going to be Cesare. Do I go for my Draug with um, with the Obsidian Battle Axe? I mean, that is a mighty melee ability. So if I get the Draug and the Necromancer, what other options have I got? Okay. Um, could get narrow on the Quenoth Frank. I don't think that money is going to be an issue in this scenario, so it doesn't really matter who's loyal and who's not. And he's definitely not among the stronger of my units. So, I could go Draug, Necromancer, Spectre, Spectre. And that's probably my wisest call, given how I tend to lose Night Gaunts very easily and my Spectres are higher level. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, we got drones, we can see some drones already. It's fun. Alright. New objectives. Find the Shakstal Hive entrance and proceed underground. I was just thinking before I started this level um, that a lot of the good stuff that I remember from uh, Invasion from the Unknown is actually in After the Storm. Particularly the, um, the ridiculous scene uh, where everyone gets captured and then they have to fight their way out through complete carnage and chaos. Okay, so we just need to move on, find the hive entrance, and proceed. And Malkeshar and Elinia can now move. If I go down here with Malkeshar, maybe I can bait out some enemies. Not quite you, you're not quite there yet. Elinia too, you, go, you come down here. Okay, there are some drones around here, but neither, none of them can quite reach us yet. Maybe I don't want to go that way. Probably, I mean, we started in the top left, so the entrance is going to be in the bottom right. That is uh, basic Wesnoth level design logic. Okay, um, you can already see the disadvantage of uh, re recalling this draw. They're completely hopeless at moving across land. At least my other units aren't quite so hopeless. But it looks like these drones have a reduced movement. Yeah, they do. That's weird. They can't move as fast. Well, I'm not going to lure them out if they don't uh, if they don't need to be lured. See anyone down here? No, it looks like uh, there are mountains. Can I go between these mountains? Guess I'll find out. Yeah, there is a there's an entrance there. Okay, that's good. That's positive. And uh, everyone else is too slow to reach me, and I don't want to get in the way of anyone. Oh, you're so slow. Oh god, you're going to take forever to get there, aren't you? And if I... Six turns! Ah, oh, why did I recall you? Why? Okay, there are drones in there.
Now, if you go there, you're going to get attacked, so... Best you go the slightly slower route. You're faster, you can go across... Sand. Well, I don't... I could put Alinea right in the entrance and lure a drone out already. But I don't think it's wise. I think I want to push in with these units next turn. So I'm just going to stick you there in case anyone shoots out at me. Alright, no action there. Could go in and try and to snipe one of these drones. Maybe this strong one. Well, let's just go in a little bit and see what there is. Okay, locate Yechnagoth's heart is now the objective. We've got some walking corpses down here, and we've got a ray blade who's going to come out. And back here we've got... Ah, okay, here we've got the faster drones. kill there. Alright, good. You put your ass in that entrance, and then Alinea can come along behind, and everyone else is going to take a wee while to uh, make progress. Even my quick necromancer is uh, not the quickest in this situation. And I'm going to have to watch out because these guys are going to respawn and they're going to do so precisely when my Draug shows up. I think that's the, uh, the sad issue here. Probably shouldn't have bothered with this guy. going to play the Attack the Spelly and the Spectre in melee combat game. I can play that game too. What can I see? Nothing interesting. Alright, you kill that. Mal, you move in. take any chances when eliminating level 0 units. So I use my two most powerful units to do it. Now, you come on in, you are, you're done. You come back here, and if you actually stay where you are, you'll get the healing. So let's scout on with this guy. This putrid place seems much larger than it was the last time we set foot on it. Clearly our friends have been busy at work here. It's quite a maze. It will be no easy task to find Yechnagoth's heart, whatever it looks like. Of course, I imagine it must give off an evil presence of some kind. I'm certain we'll be able to tell once we find it. Yeah, well, we'll see, I guess. 
Um, two, these two drones down here. I'm gonna, yeah, I'll leave you there. If you want to come out and fight, then come out and fight. Alright, seems reasonable. And... No kill! Alright, let's move in with the druid. Can't quite reach. Malkeshar can reach, so... And then you... Kill that matrix flow system. You sneak in here and stab this drone. Ineffectually, and then you plonk your ass there. Ah, oh, poor old drowgy boy up back here. It might be that I have to go back and rescue him. Okay, at least you can move faster in this terrain. Still, I think some respawning is going to be happening. Alright, we see nastier drones down here, including one who can move out. This is a this is a beast little beastly little corridor to fight your way down. Alright, so I don't mess this up. Put my two spectres here. You can attack either one. Whichever you like, and Malkeshar is going to come from behind and sit there. Yep, and there we got a respawn, our first respawn. Fortunately, our Draug is able to deal with it quite easily. Might have slowed his movement down a tad though. See how he continues. I will lure out another drone if I do this. That's fine. I'm going to park there. Can I? I'm going to try and get the kill with my druid. Let's see she does get another level, and I would quite like to see what that looks like. No turn limit here, so there's no point rushing. I can't go there. You can go there. You can go there, you can go here. Now it's just my drag who is being slow. And that one respawns. And I can just move down. It can still reach me, but I don't care. Good kill. Okay, there's a gate there. I bet that doesn't go anywhere though. Just more ray blades. Gotta be careful of them. The linear can actually get in. As can you, you can get in and, uh, and fight this drone. Let's see what else there is down here. Okay, nothing that I can see. That bodes well. Ok, 
Can you reach the bottom end? Yeah, good. Okay. So then the plan is this. Perfect. If you really want, you can come and fight my forest spirit, who's quite close to another level. Dip of drought. Oh well, if you're gonna melee attack me, then I don't really care. I'm just gonna plow on. Alright, we got more matrix flow systems. And we got a good necromancer. Well, Kesha can go through this little cubby hole. Okay, it's gonna be more fun. Again, no point going too fast. Take it easy. Don't. No one needs that rune. Maybe my um, maybe don't, my drought will need it by the time he gets there. Another drone rears its ugly head and is out of range, fortunately. Okay, and we can move in. Okay, there's a few drones in here. Alright, didn't quite get the kill. Can Alinea... Um, okay, well, Alinea won't... Alinea can't kill the Matrix flow system, which is frustrating. And she can't reach anything else. No one else can reach it other than this Wraith. I'll just leave it alone. You move in. Okay, you can be attacked, which probably means you get poisoned. That's annoying, but... Uh... Okay, sirrah, sirrah. This is a very narrow passageway. I have to squeeze my ass through. And I bet these doors open up later on in the scenario. I bet that's what's going to happen. I'm going to come back around the other side of, of here and, and here. Guess we'll find out. Alright, good. No more zombies. Oh, Kesha can get an easy kill. You can come around here and take out this guy. And now you're extremely close to a level. You kill this. And then you kill this. And then we are good. You don't like moving across the tunnel terrain, do you? That's your problem. Your problem is that you don't like moving across any terrain. You're kind of slow. And, oh Just managed to avoid this nasty sentry drone who popped out of nowhere. 
but we're not out of the woods yet. Mr. Draug here is on his own little personal quest at the back of the party. Maybe if everyone else can get round here, then they'll open up this door and he can come through. He's down 12 hit points. Maybe it's worth him going and getting this gem of healing while he's at it. I uh, didn't want to do that. I want to move you one less so that you can heal Sasir. Then everyone other than the drag is on full health. Okay, you could go this way, or you could go this way. I think it's still smarter for you to go this way. Everyone else, proceed. All right, we've got a ray blade. Um, this is a good place to fight a ray blade if it's going to come and fight. I'll put my two spectres here. And a linear just behind. And also you. Okay, sweet. Persistent. That was pretty weak from the from the ray blade there. Okay, you come back. You go in. Get a few hits, and now you should be able to finish the job with just one. Good. Oh, these tiny passageways. keeps missing. If there's one thing you're good at, or supposed to be good at, it's melee combat. Okay, I don't want to... I would like to have you heal, but I guess it's out of my hands. Alright, windy windy passageways. Everyone just keep going. At least this uh, circuit board terrain here is not super slow to move across. Okay, all we can see is a distant zombie. Yeah, you dead. Okay, more drones. No need to go too fast down here. It's another one of these dungeons with uh, lots of dead ends. front. Lots of drones here, okay. Get everyone nicely clustered together and proceed. get an extra three hit points. Very nice. You, if you get the kill, 
and you should also get an extra three hit points. So satisfying. And now finally this drow is starting to catch up. I mean, it's hardly been in any fights, it's just proceeded at all of its very slow pace. Okay, I think I'm actually cool with both of these guys coming forward and attacking my forest spirit. Can you get the kill? Yeah, I should be able to. Slow progress with you. Good. You want to go on to their next turn. You can stand there and heal people, and you two can move back. And we are, it looks like we are going to wind our way back round. New spectres out front. And the gold is, this gold situation is zero, 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 zero. Do I wish to be healed? Why? Yes, I do. And now you can't move. You're still going to be at the back. But maybe some useful things will come of that. Who knows? Ah! Droney McDrone faces. Okay, one of you can reach down there. Don't want to get the Necromancer poisoned. So... And my spectres can't get in range of anyone. No one, can, no one can heal the spectres if they stand here. That's okay, I'll just put the one. And the other one can go behind. Where they can't be reached. going. You're doing great. Um, very nice. Well, I didn't want to do that. Yeah. Hmm. A lovely little dungeon here. Well, that's a classic of a situation. Okay, scout, scout, scout. Scouty, scouty, scout. Is there anything else back here?
So yeah, a few slower drones. Okay, one of you can reach the Necromancer, but that's okay. If you really want to come and poison the Necromancer. Um, or maybe I'll just stick you in the corner and put Malkeshar out in front. Yeah, I'll do that. Makes things a little bit speedier all around. You come up behind just in case anyone manages to somehow weirdly hit a linear. Invisible skirmishes. I say that as if it's a joke, but uh, Invasion from the Unknown did have those units. I don't, I haven't seen them in this campaign, actually. Maybe uh, the designer thought better of it. Or maybe I just haven't looked at them yet. Safe kill for you. Now halfway to a level. Malkesha, you're a bit wounded, so you go and eat this tree. Om nom nom. Right, now who do I want to be attacked by this drone? One of you two. And all is well. Can you not kill anything in one go? It's really rather embarrassing. Keep running. This gate, is it going to open up? Be nice. No, just looks like it might. Okay. Orange drones. Different colour from the other drones we've seen. Not sure if that's significant, probably not. So far, this mission has not been hugely challenging, as long as you don't play it like a complete dumbass and run your units out one by one. Okay, now we got some now we got something coming out. Looks like there must be a leader coming up soon. We've got to get ourselves into a good spot to defend from, then. That was rubbish. Oh, we'll let Alinea get the kill. Or you. Because I want Alinea to block up this corridor for me. More specifically, I want Malkeshar to block this corridor for me, uh, so that everyone can come and suicide on him, in the good old-fashioned time-honoured style. All right, now I can fight this. You're going to be irritating, aren't you? And block me in front or something stupid. Well, there's another glyph of healing there you can use. No kill! Okay, there are quite a lot of people here. Okay, you did stand in front, but you got... Finally, Mr. Draug 
did something sensible and uh, got an easy kill. Um, speaking of easy kills, how to fight off this swarm? Can you? Yeah, it looks like you could be made into zombies. Nope. Well, there was no reason they couldn't be. It's just, um, you know, if they had an ability that said, I can't be made into a zombie, that would make sense. But uh, um, I guess, I mean, <laughs> narratively, it makes perfect sense. I'm just being a bit uh, a bit pissy that there isn't a better reason in character. Um, OK. In, in game, you know, it's, there should be a little instruction or something. You folks are going to keep coming, and actually, you need to be careful because you're weak against cold. Oh no, you're not super weak against cold. You're only super weak against arcane, and there isn't any arcane. There's just a lot of Verlish. So you come there and guard Malkeshar. You can come down here and hide in the forest, and we'll push forward next turn. Okay. Okay, now most of that army took itself out on Malkeshar last turn. Um, do you want to go back and get that glyph? It'll take you a little while. I think it's best that you just stay off the front lines for a bit. And then you'll be fine. You can get this glyph up ahead if you want. And finally, my draug is uh, within sight of the other troops. Actually, you can... One thing you could do is go for the drain over here. Um, chances are you would get more health back than you lost. Probably. Nope. Nope, not even close. Okay, someone else can fight these guys. Spectres can do the job for now. All right, let's see how this goes. Melee attacks, very pointless. Extremely pointless, and these guys aren't moving. Ah oh, yes, more drones are going to respawn here, so I've got to be careful. You go around, get the kill. And I should be able to reasonably easily push along both of these channels. Malkeshar should go north. Oops, a bit slow there. Okay, I'm going to come out into a big open area. Do I want to lure you out down here as well? Why not? That's good. 
Very good. You could actually do something useful for, a, for once in a while. Good, good, good. Okay, now... Can you... Yes! You can reach the glyph. Perfect. And there are more guys here. But once you're healed... It doesn't make a blind bit of difference. You are invincible! You working your way up. Alright, this looks good. You can come and fight who you like. Kill some trees. Oh, there is a there is a leader back here. Okay, it's an Enforcer Drone, which is another level 3 drone type. So it can reach Malkeshar and it can reach this Spectre. I don't think it can one-shot anyone. sit here. If it does, I've got enough magic to take it down. Pretty much everyone here has got a uh, magical attack. Um, I think the spectres are pretty much the only... Spectres and, uh, and Big Slow Draug here are the only people who haven't. Okay, it recruits another side crawler. Whoa, I'm really scared, man. And we'll just go up into this entrance with Big M and the spectres. Next turn I can run in there. Oh look at that beautiful little formation, isn't that sweet? Alright, and now we're perfectly positioned. You want to go in and do the honours? Okay. Which way should we go? Let's go to the right. I think I heard something coming from that direction. Locate Yechnagoth's heart. And Malkashar gets his movement back, isn't that nice? I think, more well, crucially, he needs his hit points back, but that will come. I don't have any money to recruit new units, um, but I might as well go and open this door. Okay, we got a nasty sentry drone. Now, given that the narrative tells me to go to the right, I'm kind of tempted to go to the left. 
especially as going left is my usual dungeon behavior. So maybe we'll explore that in a second. I think it will probably just link around. Who knows? More doors. Lots of doors. That wasn't great on the part of my spectre. We'll pull you back a bit. And have you come in. Just to soften it up a bit, and then... Well, you can't quite reliably get that kill. You probably can, though. Yeah, better. There we go, and you're up to 36 hit points, too. those doors. Yeah, you die, door. You hop around there. You just open this. Okay, yeah. <laughs> uh, well, that was fairly pointless. Maybe, the, hopefully these guys will just come out and suicide themselves on my drag. Um, but I'm going to move you there, because... And actually, if I put you there, then no one loses out on any healing. work. I don't know why I'm using you to scout back down here. It's kind of... Oh, okay. This all links back up again. Well, that's nice. And you can even get some food next turn, and everyone else can keep going this way. Should I open the door? give it another turn before I open the door. I'm such a coward. Just in case we need to escape back down this way, it will be useful that that's not there. You're doing well. You could be at a level soon. Alright, you can't drain the door, it's mechanical, so I have to bash it down with someone else like you. Oh my goodness! What do we find behind the door? Drones! Just like behind every other door in this damn complex. Drones and maybe some some Verlish. Okay. Well, at the moment they can only get through one at a time, and actually that's good for me. Don't want to push it, so let's leave it there. Again, no rush, not yet. Okay, you could come and attack your linear, so just on, in, on the off chance you do that, I'm going to put the healer behind you, which I was going to do anyway, but 
If I say it like this, it makes me sound smarter. Flickering torches. Twenty more health for you. And everyone's nicely clumped up now. We'll put the spectre there. If you want to come down and fight the spectre, then be my guest. Okay, more zombies. That's exciting. More drones. And they're all too slow. Good, we got Malkeshar back up to full. nicely clumped. Do I want to go here? Maybe it'll give me another way around into this area. Looks like, um, I mean I don't want to speak too soon, but it looks like we're coming towards the end of this dungeon, though it will all open back out again I'm sure. Sorry about that. All right, so can I, when we're going to burst into this area and start laying the smack down, let's bring in a spectre to scout first. Okay, there's quite a lot of units in here. Don't want to proceed too fast. Even big old Mal could uh, have a hard time dealing with that amount of cruft. easy kill for you and doesn't like and get through here no I can't no oh, that was pointless it's that's that's really annoying I think that at least should be a way through you two can't reach you two can reach you two can reach okay let's pull back just one tile and then see what comes to get us next turn Oh no, more suicide drones. Oh, that's pretty nasty. Cycrawler, we've got another drone, we can come up here and see what more there is. Okay, only, uh, only trees. 
and another drone. Nothing really that Malkeshar can't deal with, so I'll put him on the healing glyph. Give him 30 hit points, and then you guys can do what you like, really. You can reach him, I don't want that to happen. Okay, I think we're in a good position now. Well, Keshar conveniently fails to kill this guy. Also, he fails to hit anything very much. Kill for you. Kill for you. You're nearly at full health. Kill for Alinea. Might as well at least try and get her. Leveled. And we can use the spectres to go tree felling. And Malkeshar, actually. Okay, there's more drones there. They can't reach me if I go here, though. Can, yeah, you can't reach the tree, that's annoying. Okay. Um, but, but Malkeshar could come and bait some drones and you just stay where you are and you'll get healed. So that's very nice. In the meantime you can do this tree. Leave nothing standing. I don't like that. Hold on! I hear something. Kukapfre spoilo kwanst vareb. Kwanst rupek tavavknek. Eposnop avnpad. Urgurchup. Abgvnmgnav expadior. What is that mechanical voice? Dren Erosnuk in a gar and rib. Gabriel's trip up to his tower near Erosnuk. Abglopav and Srubis, Kurtzberg Bruce, Fredbeck of Abgus Bunzreba. Earthnuck your hair, Kruppnuck, Kruppair, Abdruff, Ulvgar. Whatever it is, it sounds like bad news for us. 
Okay, well that was good news for you, because you just went up to 107, uh, very close to a level. Um, so you go out in front, you go even further out in front. Okay, I can see a bit more, there's going to be a drone coming at me. You can come up here, oh no, you can't go through there, that's another mysteriously blocked area to go all the way around. Even there you can't go through. Silly. We'll need to go there. Okay, but it's okay if you go here. It's okay if you go there. And everyone else just comes up. Okay. Okay, the drone doesn't even come out. These are well behaved drones, they stay where they are. Stay put. there nope that's all blocked this is all blocked so much blockage you go here and everyone else press on Oh, okay, so the Quenoth Shide evolves from the Druid. Interesting. From the, uh, which actually, yeah, no, not from the, yeah, from the Druid. But the Quenoth Shide is level four. Um, no, wait, I'm getting confused. Sylph Shides, all these elves doesn't matter. What matters is I push forward and fight more drones. That seems to be all that matters. In the modern world. On we go, ever onward. I have a feeling that there's going to be a very, very tough boss fight coming up. Which is why there's all the healing here. Don't need the glyph, not going to use it yet. You park your ass next to the shide, get some healing. Ah, oh, it's nice to have a level 4 unit. Not something that happens in, uh, in this campaign all that much. Ominous, ominous things coming up. Oh, big open area. This looks like a boss fight space, people. What's going to happen? Well, everyone's on full health and maximally leveled up, so I should be pretty well prepared for whatever it is. No sign of anything just yet. Okay, we've got a Verlish Psycrawler. Oh, do I even dare to go further? You go there. You go here. Okay, still nothing. And turn there.
Still nothing. Man, I'm so psyched out. Ah, oh, here we go. Here we go. Boss fight time. It's a very large, suspiciously vacant chamber. I love how Malkishar says what we're all thinking. <laughs> what do you think, Alinea? Oh no, the door closed behind us. And now we're trapped. How predictable. I know. Let us be on guard for whatever those voices were talking about. Okay, let's be on guard. So far, all we can see is some uh, not particularly effective Verlish units. Um, and my not particularly effective units will try and fail to kill them. Oh. <sighs> For sake. Good start. Uh, you go down here. Come down here and do some healing. You can come down here. I want everyone to stick together. Even if that means. Okay, we should be good. What is that? Uriah be damned! Hey, that conspicuous glowing orb embedded in its torso seems important! <laughs> Thanks, Malkisha. Yes, it must be the very thing we have been searching for. Our timing couldn't be any worse. Destroy it! Destroy it at all costs! Ah, Malin, are you all right? This, this place is not doing me any good. There's a greater force at work in here, pulling our souls into it. I should be able to heal you, just... I don't think that will help for long. I'm going to lend you a hand while I can. Yay! Spam undead! Okay, victory, victory condition to destroy the queen. No recall, no recruits. Gonna save the game just in case, but I'm gonna keep going because this is just too tasty. This queen is a level 5 unit. It's got a nasty energy burst marksman attack. It's got a melee attack that slows. And it's got protection, which means that Adjacent units of lower level get bonuses to resistances up to a maximum of 50%. It regenerates, it can... It's got absorb damage. Interesting. Okay. Um, units with this ability will not take damage. Well, that's good to know. So let's start by trying to kill some of the weak units surrounding it. You just hop into that little forest and... Uh... Actually, should you go and kill this? It might be useful not to have anyone crawling up my backside. And I'm pretty sure none of these undead units are actually along for this world, so... It doesn't really matter who does what. Okay, that wasn't very good. We're here. Yes, there we go. Do I have anyone that can slow? Only a linear. Okay, good. So far, so good.
Okay, I ought to have someone go and attack this guy so that uh, I get the cutscene that says, It's not taking any damage, what should we do? You, you're, you're useless. You'll, um, you just go here and see. Alright, yep, no damage. No explanation for why no damage. wasn't very great from you either. All right. Now, so everyone is still you down here, Alinea. So everyone apart from this guy is still is is dead and the Hive Queen itself which doesn't seem to take any damage, and hopefully we'll get some explanation for why that is. <sighs> we have found those things before, in the old capital. They must have something to do with the hive, and possibly this creature as well. They'll have some kind of power source. Try destroying them. Kesha takes more random damage. And these things are really nasty now. They do hot goo slowing damage. So the person who's best at dealing with things that are really nasty is Malkesha. But that wasn't too impressive. This appears to be causing some damage to the beast. Very well, let's do some more. Destroy the energy supply units in the Queen's Chamber. All right, and it looks like it's it's slowed. Yeah, that's cool. All right, I should use my weak undead units to distract the Queen while I use my strong undead units to do these killy, killy, killy missions. <laughs> Well, these things are very powerful. Try this. Yeah, you just need the right attack positions. Okay, good. And I'll use you two to block up the big guy. Okay, you weren't you weren't as effective, that's fine. I really don't need you. You're not you're not the person for the job at all. You though. Good, all right. Now, let's put you down here. Ready to take out the next one. You come here. And we'll see what happens next. Oh, 
Well, Keshar's still continuing to get whacked. Still fantastic at taking out these things, though. Okay, it takes damage, it's slowed, it's not dead. Um, you're going to get hit a lot if you sit there, but don't see any way around that. You two, once again, get into position so that you can block off the queen. Okay, down you go. It was good knowing you. I want to conserve Alinea's health. Not sure how wise that is, but... Hmm. Okay, that's good. This thing is almost dead, and it just takes one more hit. So let's see what happens when we get that one more hit with Alinea. It's working! Strike it down now! Okay, strike it down. Destroy the queen. And it is slowed. Um, it's still a, a mighty, mighty beast of a, of a baddie, so... Rubbish, okay. Okay, no more worm. Should you attack? Yeah, why not? It's got regenerate, so I need to do damage while I can. And next turn I can get some heavy hitters in. Not Malkeshar, because Malkeshar is getting slaughtered. He did pretty much single-handedly take out two of those things, so... Can't say I blame him too much. Same with this. Same with this drag. No. Ah, did you kill the spectre? Okay. But Malkeshar is not not looking rosy at the moment. Okay, you're not slowed anymore. That worries me. Good. Now you're slowed again. Now I can just try and bring in as many people as possible to do as much damage as possible. Oh god, this thing's such a beast! back, try and save your life. It doesn't seem inclined to go for these weak skeletons even when I give it the opportunity, so... Ah, take that three damage. Okay. Uh, 
Alright, down goes a Spectre. Well, Keshar's continuing to take that damage. That is uh, pretty worrying. Alright, Alinea. Alright, now from here on out, it shouldn't be too hard. In fact, you can almost do it. Alright, now who do I want to get 40 experience points? Ideally Alinea, but she's already there. Um, you, that would be cool. Let's try and kill this worm. Try it. The unsightly behemoth let out a terrifying loud screech with its dying breath. As the creature collapsed, the alien core in its chest shattered and burst, releasing a great amount of energy that enveloped all in ghostly red tendrils. Okay. Anything else? The energy is filling the place. An energy of a kind unknown to either Elinia or the Lich. It's clear now that those power condensers were essential for running something else here. All of you, make haste and return to the surface before the hive collapses. We? What about you? Surely you realize that I am well past my time to roam this earth. I am as old as a fossil, and our little fight with Alyssa and Argan in the frontier between Inferno and Erdia has truly had a long-lasting effect on my powers. The power that's consuming this place now is tearing into my very soul. It hurts. But you and I, we have many followers from diverse backgrounds. I, I am sure that should you need a new necromancer to help you, many will be willing to take up my position. Just make sure to not get yourself killed, and don't forget that you are here fighting for a greater cause. One that transcends the fate of Erdia. Argan's Jewel. Where is it? Kiara. Marlin. Tears. How could I let this happen? No! My lady, we cannot spend any more time here. Lady! Don't forget that you are here fighting for a greater cause. One that transcends the fate of India. We must get out of here. That way. Find an alternate exit to the surface. Okay, so... Um, my drow has just been turned to stone. Malkeshar has just been turned to stone. And these two skeletons and my all my undead have, have, have turned into stone. The only people who aren't stone are the necromancer, the forest spirit, and the shide. Well, that's just brilliant. And we hear boom as we move. Always been alone. Okay, that was a nasty amount of damage that Elenia just took. I hope she doesn't keep taking that. Uh, 
Uh, run! You run too. I'll be alone again. Okay, uh, <laughs> down go all of my remaining living units, and the linear is reduced to 12 hit points. The spell! Let's use the spell. I lost much more than that long ago. We are not different after all. A greater cause, one transcends the fate of Ertia. <gasps> Do you truly think you can fight me? You don't have the power of the Union to help you anymore. Your friends are gone. Our power is unlimited. You cannot win. <gasps> Fade to white. We find ourselves in a forest. What am I? My lady? Where are you? My lady, we have been looking for you. We have just received excellent news. She's not dead. But the Wesmere facility was vaporized after the destruction of the core. That's right, but she is not dead. I can feel her. I don't know where she is, but she's certainly not dead. But not in Asia either. Or is she? She's not. Good. Wherever she is, she can't bother us anymore and her lackey was destroyed in the explosion. It's a pity that we lost the experimental core units, along with such a very strategic location, that we can't do without them anyway. I feel the need to ask, however, why install the third unit on our new weapon, when any of us could make a better use of it? I believe the Norsulans haven't resolved the contamination issue yet. It's not the best moment to make risky choices like that with our limited resources. We need to reclaim some land and complete the construction of the other hives. As for the original... She said we should not do anything with it yet. I see. Well, that's all I wanted to know. Don't forget that you have a mission to carry out too. I am aware, my lady. I am well aware. To be continued. And there we are, at the end of part one of After the Storm. Gonna let the credits roll because the uh, Wesnoth team did a great job, and uh, the campaign designer Iris Morel, aka Shadow M, also did a great job. Uh, like I say, favorite series, favorite set of campaigns, best narrative in Wesnoth. Can't say it any more clearly than that, and uh, fantastic playing experience. This campaign is one I have thoughts on. I, th I find it 
I can't help but find it narratively unsatisfying. I think that's because it's in the middle, it's not really self-contained, but there's a few things that... I guess it's actually good storytelling, because it actually moves me. It, um, even if it doesn't move me in the way that necessarily is, is, is I don't know, um, is normal. But, um, you know, Malhekuba, for instance, is a fantastic foil for Malkeshar. Um, and there we get the death of both Galas and Malkeshar, both in a fairly futile way. And this is basically setting a linear up for character development. Um, but if, you know, if, if, like I think most players will be, you're as invested in Malkeshar and Galas at this point as you are in Alinea, despite the fact that she's the narrator, you know, it's kind of a big deal that they both die at this point, and uh, it's a hard pill to swallow. So, yeah, um, but we've got loads more mysterious stuff introduced. We've got the reincarnation of Valdir, we've got the Norsulans, um, we've got the thing that was stolen. Um, there's so much going on here to unpack the contamination issue, the third unit, experimental weapons, uh, and we've got three new villains. We've got the Triads, along with Malkeshar, that is. Sorry, along with Mal, uh, Malhekuba, we've got Malkendria, the Necromancer, and we have Nahamoth, the uh, Chaos Overlord, the Shakstar Warlord, in fact, not a Chaos, Over Chaos Overlord. Um, so, all in all, we're in a fantastic place for the campaign to keep going, and uh, that it will. Uh, but I'm not going to be doing that right now. This is the end of this particular video, and I might take a little break before playing the next part. Um, thanks to everyone involved, thank you for watching. Um, please give me a comment, it does mean something to me if I hear that people appreciate what I'm doing here. So yeah, that's it for now. Take care.